What's up everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Unbound, and today we battle Light of Ruin leader, a club. A clove? A clave? I have no idea how to say his name out loud. But either way, he is strong. So here we go, let's get started. This battle was insanely difficult, so here we go. A clove is gonna start with Rabombi and we lead with Vigavol. Rabombi is his sticky web setter, so we're gonna do the same to make up for the fact that we don't have a rapid spin user. Rabombi sets up the sticky web. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get rid of it for the entire battle, but we're gonna set up a sticky web of our own and this is actually going to work out better it's going to come in so clutch at the end of the battle so stick around now that both sticky webs are set up we just want to 1v1 the Ravambi here he goes for charm which is fine because vikavolt is a special attacker so it's no big deal we fire off the thunderbolt now Ravambi is holding focus sash so either way it's going to take a two shot to take him down now we've got the sticky web set up but another reason why we want vikavolt in to 1v1 the Ravambi here is because for some reason Ravambi stays in normally Ravambi likes to set up the sticky web and run away but against Vic Vikavolt, Rabambi stays in. He tries to take us out with the Moon Blast. It doesn't deal enough. And he goes down to the second Thunderbolt. Not allowing him to switch out and taking out Rabambi right away is going to save us a lot of trouble later on. So man, if he comes out next, and this thing is super dangerous. Now he gets caught in the sticky web, lowering his speed. But he's still going to be faster than Vikavolt. However, we need to stay in and click Thunderbolt to check that he doesn't go for Tail Blow. Vikavolt goes down to the Ice Beam, but that's fine. Everything here is calculated and going according to plan. Man, if he's so hard our ability activates raising his special attack but it doesn't matter as we're going to go into our manaphy counter magnezone it's important that we have a clean switch in with magnezone here versus the manaphy magnezone has the sturdy ability but being slower we need to assure that we're able to get off at least one attack and if he's going to run away as light of ruin leader a club switches into registeel and it's a shiny registeel which i think looks awesome with the bright yellow color he comes out and gets caught in the sticky web lowering his speed so registeel is going to take the brunt of the discharge that was meant for Manaphy, but unfortunately, Registeel is much tankier than Manaphy is. However, we do get the Lucky Paralysis, which is awesome. Registeel does have leftovers, so he's going to restore a bit of health every turn, which means we need to take him out as soon as possible. And to do that, we're going to switch into camera up here. Registeel gave us a great opportunity to switch as he goes for the Protect, but it's useless. Registeel is going to restore a little bit of health with leftovers. We are set up for this camera up versus Registeel 1v1. Now, to be totally honest, this Paralysis does not actually matter at all we're going to continue to use lava plume here as registeel tries to attack us with body press our camera up is tanky enough to take two body presses registeel will get taken out by lava plume before he is able to get off a third body press this is how the situation normally plays out if registeel is not paralyzed but in this case registeel gets fully paralyzed three times in a row extremely lucky the only difference is this time camera up will win the 1v1 with full health but the reason why those full paralyzes don't matter is because whether or not camera up ends the turn with full health or only a little bit of health he's getting sacrificed next turn anyway however the paralysis did save us from having to risk any crits and if camera up did go down to a crit this battle would have went off the rails real quick so man if he comes back out and this is exactly what we want this battle is very unforgiving and there is no room for mess ups or misplays everything has to go exactly according to plan here so it doesn't matter which move we click man if he moves first and goes for surf this is going to be four times super effective and camera up goes down in one shot again that's why the paralysis didn't matter earlier because whether camera up has full health or only a little bit of health left he has to get sacrificed here either way camera up did his job and now it's time to bring back out our manaphy counter magnezo and now that we already took care of registeel manaphy does not switch out anymore manaphy is faster and attacks with surf it does huge damage but doesn't matter either way because magnezone has the sturdy ability we fire back with discharge dealing huge super effective damage and it's enough to one shot the manaphy i hope you guys are enjoying the battle so far if you are remember to click the like button it's good for the algorithm and also consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this now for the first time ever in this game the legendary hoopa unbound stands before us to battle now hoopa unbound is actually pretty slow however it is holding a choice scar hoopa outspeeds and attacks first with space fury and magazine is going to go down however space fury is a dark type move and because of the choice scarf hoopa is locked into using that move so we can use that to our advantage now regular altaria is a flying dragon type so hoopa is going to stay in and try to go for another space fury attack to deal neutral damage so regular altaria is going to bait the space fury as it mega evolves to gain the fairy typing and will now type resist the space fury mega altaria is a dragon fairy type so now that we've baited hoopa to stay in 
we take the Space Fury like a champ that's not very effective, and now we can fire back with the super effective Pixelate Hyper Voice. Using the fact that Hoopa is Choice Scarf to our advantage because he knows Ice Punch, so we needed to get Altaria on the field while it was locked into Space Fury. So our club smartens up and switches Hoopa out for Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu is going to get caught in the sticky web, lowering his speed, as well as activating the grassy terrain. And this is actually fine. This will help us restore some health as well over the course of the next few turns. Since the club made a switch this turn, we're going to use this opportunity to get up a cotton guard. This is going to drastically increase Altaria's defense, and this is huge because both Tapu Bulu and Hoopa are physical attackers. Thanks to Tapu Bulu's speed drop from the sticky web, Altaria moves first and attacks with Flamethrower. Despite being super effective, it deals just shy of about half health. Tapu Bulu attacks with Dark Lariat. We're going to type resist as well as having a plus three defense from the Cotton Guard. It doesn't deal very much damage at all. Looks like a club's getting desperate here. He's running out of options. But this battle is far from over as there's still a ton of stuff that could go wrong. As I said before, even one misclick or misplay in this battle goes off the rails real quick. This is one of those boss battles that's just super unforgiving and you cannot mess up even once. Everything has to go perfect. So here we go. Hoopa comes back in and needs the flamethrower. Not quite enough to take him out, but that's all right. Now that Hoopa is no longer locked into Space Fury, he attacks first with Ice Punch. It's going to be super effective, but we're all right thanks to the defense increase from the Cotton Guard. We fire back with a Pixelate Hyper Voice. It's super effective and enough to take out Hoopa. But don't be fooled, this battle's not over yet as a club sends out Gardevoir. It gets caught in the sticky web, lowering speed. It's going to trace Altaria's Pixelate ability, which doesn't matter anyway because Gardevoir Gardevoir is going to Mega Evolve here in a second, and Mega Gardevoir's ability is Pixelate anyways. So here we go, Gardevoir is going to Mega Evolve, but thanks to the speed drop from the sticky web, we will be able to get an attack off first and move first with Altaria. We're going to attack with Hyper Voice, just getting off as much damage as possible before Altaria goes down, dealing about half health as Gardevoir fires back with a Hyper Voice of its own, and dealing super effective damage is enough to take out Altaria. But that's alright, we've still got two Pokemon left, and we sent out Empoleon to get the job done. We get caught in the sticky web, but that's fine. Empoleon's gonna be slower either way, so it doesn't matter. We click Mirror Shot, but Gardevoir moves first, going for Hyper Voice. Empoleon type resist, so we'll be fine. However, we need to land this 85% accuracy Mirror Shot here with the Steel Gem Boost. Mirror Shot not being the strongest attack, only having 65 base power, but with the Steel Gem and being Stab Boosted, Plus the lucky crit, which was probably unnecessary. It's enough to take out the Gardevoir. Now Glove still got one Pokemon left as he sends out his last resort, Tabu Bulu. But everything's gone according to plan, and this is checkmate. Remember at the beginning of the video, I said how important the sticky web is going to be? Well, just wait. The grassy surge activates, which doesn't matter. Tabu Bulu is slowed, but so is Empoleon. So Tabu Bulu will still move first and go for close combat. This hits for super effective damage, and Empoleon goes down. Suffering the residual effects of the close combat, Combat, Tapu Bulu's defense and special defense are lower. Now it's time to bring out our last Pokemon, Tentacruel. It's down to the 1v1. And this is dangerous because Tentacruel can one-shot Tapu Bulu, but Tapu Bulu can also one-shot Tentacruel. But thanks to Tentacruel's clear body ability, he's unaffected by the speed drop of the sticky web on our side. He clicks Sludge Wave and attack first, winning the speed battle. Meanwhile, Tapu Bulu is slowed from the sticky web that we set up on turn one. We're able to one-shot with Sludge Wave, and that's GG. Sticky web coming in clutch at the end there. Just shows how important speed battles can be when both Pokemon are able to one-shot the opposing Pokemon. It all comes down to who is faster. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like the video, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys, talking to you in the comments. And consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.